the first game hail service. Amy Connors defeated Guillermo Vilas earlier today. Chris Edward Lloyd won the women's singles championship for the sixth time. McNamara was standing way behind the baseline. That's something you don't normally see him do, stand back that far. So that shows respect for Lendl's serve. Second serve just inside the baseline. Off. Also serving to the first court here, Tony. I noticed how far over towards the alley he's standing. Take the wide one away. This would probably be one of McEnroe's tactics as the match develops to try to keep the pressure on um, Lendl. And one of the ways he can do that is by taking that second serve early and forcing the pace. But if he chips it, if he doesn't get it real deep, uh, Lendl's going to be able to pass it too easily. 30 off. Lendl's first serve at that time was approximately 109 miles an hour. McEnroe's fastest in the first game was approximately 108. you the best idea of how fast that serve comes so the ball goes back and forth. Long. Well, McEnroe's got the quick hands. 15. You'll see one wow. right here. See how far the racket bit went back when he actually hit the volley? That backhand had some power behind it. but Lendl appears to be hitting out extremely well. That's a shot that during the tournament and during this year, I don't think McEnroe has played as well as he was last year, for example, and that's the low volley when he gets down low. Tony seems to be standing up straight on the ball. He does have that tendency to sometimes to not bend down from the waist level to bend over the eyes near the flight of the ball. Oh. 
First, First sir. sir. serve 40 30 key as far as I'm concerned Macro's game is how well he serves if he serves well gets a good percentage of first ones in he's that much tougher he says that the key to his game is movement if he moves well everything else seems to work okay he was having some foot problems in Cincinnati oh, oh Lindell started to walk on that one too players thought that ball was in. Conversation between McEnroe and the chair umpire, Bob Craner. I don't know if he's satisfied, but he's back playing. two in the first set of the semifinal. talked about hit with accuracy and authority. Oh. Oh. Double by Lindell. Oh. This is first. Those of you who on the West Coast who joined us after the festivities got underway if this match is over early. Stick around, show you some of the match, at least between Connors and Vilas. That's good. Good lob by Lendl. When you can get a lob over McEnroe's head, 30, 15. particularly one not hit with extra top spin that he can't jump up and reach, you really made a beauty. It's a good tactic from Lindell because McEnroe is going to come close to the net when he comes in to try to cut off the passing oh. shots from Lindell. It's four minutes past four Eastern time. This is about what time the players will start playing tomorrow in the finals. See that shadow starting to head across the near court. That's the big scoreboard. 40. Up on top of the stadium, the shadow, which we understand will be moved by next year. There's the shadow creeping across. Two. 